Hey guys and welcome in today's episode where we are going to go over G Helper. Um, this is going to be a guide of sorts because I'm going to show you the core values of G Helper, why maybe you should use G Helper over something like Armory Crate. So let's just jump right into it and see exactly how it looks. So I've opened up G Helper right here and at first glance you can see that everything is easily accessible to you and you're never one click away from, or at least that's what it feels like, never one click away from what you want to change. This is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love how fast and intuitive this thing is. It's just out there in your face, one click, boom. Boom, away you go, that's it, your setting is done. And that's what everybody wants. You don't want to spend too much time with, with you know, complicated menus to go and try and change things, which should be just easily accessible on the fly, one click away. So straight off the bat here, you have the modes for your CPU, silent, balance, and turbo, and something that I have absolutely high regards for, this fans plus power mode right here which is actually quite intuitive. As you can see, you have a few presets here. So you have best performance, best power efficiency, and all around balanced. And whenever I'm on battery, for instance, I will go with the best power efficiency like it is right here. And then if I remove the power cable, let's try and see what happens because I've preset this before. Boom, there you go. Everything just drops down to 20 watts. So this is the SPL. Or if you click and hover over this part over here, it should tell you what SPL means. It's basically the sustained CPU power load for an indefinite amount of time. It just says here, and then you have SPPT, which means how much can the CPU boost for two minutes? And of course, how much the CPU can boost for two seconds? These are all values that you can change by yourself which is absolutely quick and easy to change. You can also, of course, do this in Armory Crate, but you know, it's much faster here and I really, really love the interface. It's very simple, one click away and you're into your setting and that's really nice to see. So for instance, once you have set this, you can definitely go ahead and close this menu here and then you can look down here and see the discharge rate for your laptop. For instance, right now I'm using around 19 watts. So that's how much uh, it draws from the battery because I have OBS recording going on in the background and not anything else basically. But this does take a lot, a lot of power from this, uh, this device. But yes, these are the modes of operation for your CPU. And if you're not tech savvy at all and you don't wanna go through this complicated menu, then you don't really have to. You can just work with these guys right here. Pretty intuitive, turbo, balanced, and silenced, depending on your mode of operation. If you don't, you know, maybe you have a long train ride or a long flight ahead of you. you just wanna watch a video, two videos, some movies, or something like that. You can just put it on silent, run it like it is, and that's it. You're gonna get mostly like 95% out of your battery throughout your journey, so you have a peace of mind with that. I'm gonna plug it back in now. And it's going to go to the last preset, which was uh, plugged in, which says turbo. I'm going to put it back down to silent because I don't want the fans to ramp up during the video here. And of course, the next one over there you have is the GPU mode, which is definitely something that is accessible through Armory Crate as well. In fact, let's just up, open up Armory Crate and see what I'm talking about here side by side. So if we open up Armory Crate... Oh my God, Armory Crate, you're taking forever. Jesus Christ. Yeah, now I remember why I ditched you. <laughs> yes, because in fact, I did ditch Armory Crate for G Helper. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna go back to Armory Crate. It's, it's nothing for me there, maybe except the update page, which is uh, a bit better, I would say, because it actually has updates to, or it, it can actually check all the updates for all the software installed, but otherwise I'm not going back to Armory Crate. So next up in line, of course, you have the GPU mode here, which is absolutely crucial. You have all the standard modes that you would find yourself uh, in Armory Crate as well. I am running Echo at the moment, but definitely you can put it on standard. You will see your screen maybe going off and on. That's because it's activating the discrete GPU as well. And one way to check it is going into your task manager right here. And if you click on the performance tab, you will see that I'm running both the AMD Radeon 890M graphics, which is the dedicated graphics card on this APU. And of course, now I can see the RTX 4060 GPU. So this is the discrete GPU in this device. Now, if I am running on Eco only, you will see there, it says disable the GPU to save battery life. So if I would run this on battery only, then I would just click on Eco and then go back in here. And you can see right now, I can only see the 890M graphics card. That's because the 
4060 from Nvidia has been disabled in order to of course save on battery and that's absolutely amazing. Now of course you can uh, click on optimize as well if that's what you want and let the machine decide depending on the use case uh, it, if it should uh, crack up the 4060 or maybe continue using the APU. But uh, yeah, if you want to take you know your fate into your own hands, you can definitely click on this. It's not that much, just one click, set it and forget it and use it as you would. So that's pretty cool. I pretty much love the way that this is integrated. Very, very fast and precise. This is also similar in uh, Armory Crate, but you know, once again, Armory Crate can be a bit of a hassle. It, it, it takes more RAM to use. It has a bunch of submenus. People are not that familiar or maybe they have to uh, go through a learning curve in order to use Armory Crate properly. Well, this is just straight up in your face. It's easy. It's there. It's one click away. Okay, so uh, another very nice feature that I have here. It's this one uh, that, uh, well, basically I couldn't find it. Armory Crate. And this is all about the laptop screen. Yeah, once again, name of the game. It's boom, one click away and you're done. And this is all set to auto or maybe you want to set it up to 60 hertz if you want to protect your battery and maybe get uh, more out of your battery or 240 hertz. You can do this very easily with just one click and this is absolutely really amazing. I couldn't find this setting in Armory Crate. Maybe you guys know a bit more and if you do know, well, maybe just hit me down in the comment section down below so then everybody can see where exactly and how they can access this option in Armory Crate if they want to go with Armory Crate instead of G Helper. Other very nice feature that I have here with G Helper is basically this uh, flicker flea uh, well, I should say this flicker free dimming. So for instance, if you have your max brightness set all the way up with your keyboard for your display, and then you start fiddling around with this, uh, with this cursor here, you can just uh, take it all the way down and uh, it will be very, very dim. But do keep in mind, you can actually get the screen even dimmer from there just by using the keys on your keyboard. So if you go, uh, you can even decrease it even more or even more or, or something, it resembles almost off at this point if you just um, crank it all the way down from the keyboard and all the way down from this um, slider right here. So that's pretty cool. I will tell you one way that you can use this or one way that I'm using this is maybe late at night whenever I'm in my bed with the laptop just uh, browsing on the internet and stuff like that. Uh, I don't want the screen to be too powerful. Um, so I find it at times and well before G Helper I used to find it that it is still very bright even on the lowest setting. Um, with just the help of Windows uh, and now I can turn it down even more and that's absolutely amazing for me because I can use this laptop while just being in bed at night without having to you know have a sleep paralysis because of the very bright screen hitting my eyes so that's pretty nice and also if you want to conserve battery life once again you can just uh, you know Choose what works for you. If you're outside and you need all the full brightness, go ahead, use the full brightness. If you're somewhere inside, you still need a battery life, then you can just decrease the screen brightness and also use this, uh, this slider right here to adjust it to something that you really like. And that way you'll achieve both efficiency with your battery and also, uh, you know, a nice way to use your laptop. Right, moving on from here, of course, you have some other default presets here. If you're playing on your uh, on your laptop or maybe doing some, uh, I don't know, video editing and stuff like that, you can definitely access everything that you need on the go, on the fly, I should say, one click away, boom, you're set and you're done. Basically, I think this is the name of the game with G Helper. Of course, you have slash lighting in here and that's very helpful as well. You have all the presets that you might want from off to bright. And of course, all the modes that it can work with, Armory Crate, without having to go into Armory Crate, you can just access them from here and that's all really nice. And as well, you can set the interval for it to be off and on. So basically, all the settings that you would find in Armory Crate, you can definitely find them here, one click away with G Helper. You can disable it on battery like I do with my uh, most day-to-day -day travel with the laptop because I don't want it to be flashy. I don't want to show off this lighting on the back. And I mostly just keep it off regardless if it's connected to power or not because this is just a branding thing, I think. They are trying to identify themselves like Apple does with the back, uh, with the Apple on the back there. Uh, 
but I'm not sure if this is gonna stick for ASUS or not in the long term. But anyway, regardless, it's there if you wanna use it and you do have an option if you wanna turn it off or on or depending if it's on, what mode you want to run it in. And that's pretty nice because it's there once again, one click away, you set it and forget it. All right, another interesting thing that most of you guys will find useful is of course the keyboard. And I mean the way that it cycles through its options with the RGB. So the way you interact with the keyboard and the RGB and the colors, it's all accessible to you right here. You don't have to go anywhere. And if you click on the extra, then you have access to this panel right here, which is the customization, which is the basic uh, way to customize your hotkeys um, because you can definitely do a bunch with this as well. So you, if you want to go nuts, this is definitely the tab that you should hit. It's extra setting in the laptop keyboard uh, right here, G helper that will definitely set up this machine to be as customized uh, for your use case as much as possible without having to go too crazy into a bunch of sub menus and get lost in there and uh, basically forget why you went in there in the first place. Right, the battery charge limit indicator and as well uh, this slide bar here. I find this absolutely crucial nowadays because if you want to attain as much battery life as possible from any device, it could be your phone, it could be your laptop, your watch, your smartwatch, whatever you want. If you limit the amount of battery um, charge that you put on that battery, you will definitely extend the life of the battery itself. So if you are not finding yourself in a use case scenario where you absolutely need 100% of your battery because you're going on a long journey, long trip somewhere, you're disconnected, you don't have access to a power outlet, then yes, by all means, by all means set this to 100% and basically let that battery top up because you will need it later on. But in most cases, you don't actually need to top it up to 100%. So basically, you are just wasting the battery life of your device. This is very good because you can on the fly limit the charge to 80%. And if that's enough for you on a day to day need, then basically you are extending the life of your product, which is absolutely amazing. Another very nice feature is, of course, this uh, state of charge here. It's more than just the state of charge, which shows you how much your device is charged. Um, but if you click on it right now, it will open up a browser, basically letting you know it's a full history of your battery. It's a battery report as the name comes. So uh, yeah, you have here all the information that you can actually want. So yeah, you have here the last seven days, for instance. Well, it shows you how much of your battery dropped you, how much you charged it. It shows you in milliwatts hours what's happening with your battery, when you have connected it, when you have disconnected the battery. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, this is more detailed than I've ever seen something like this, and it is absolutely crazy. Now, if you are a tech junkie, <laughs> if you're somebody obsessed with what's happening with your device, then definitely all the information here can be quite useful. And also, if you have any sort of problems with your device, this also can be useful because if you, let's say, send this device over for an RMA with ACES, you can definitely tell them what's been happening with your battery and they can check it the same way you can check it and um, yeah, you'll be on the same page. So that's pretty cool and I love this feature in G Helper. Of course, you can set it up to just come on on startup and why wouldn't you is such a great tool to have. And you have here another very nice tab, which is very important. And that's the update tab. Once you open it up, it is color coded. So basically, whatever it's grayed out, it can't be checked by G Helper to see if you're running the latest OS or software for that uh, specific hardware. But for a lot of them, it can actually check uh, this for you. And for instance, BIOS, which is very important, it can actually check that I am running the latest BIOS on this machine. So that's 306 and I have 306 with Asus Easy Flash Utility. So that's pretty cool because you can at a glance see what's happening if you need an update or not, because otherwise it will show you in red that an update is available. And if you, for instance, click on the um, number there, it will take you to exactly what you need. So in this case is the latest BIOS revision from Asus and that's the 306 revision for the BIOS. That's absolutely amazing and I really appreciate how much effort uh, has been put into this uh, G Helper application, which once again, it's a third party app. This is not being supported by Asus in any way, shape or form. That's why you have the donate tab here. I'm not affiliated with them, but uh, yeah, they're absolutely great guys. And the way they manage this to be, you know, very quick, versatile on the fly. There you go. One click, boom, set it and forget it. It's absolutely amazing. And you know what? It doesn't take all that much uh, power or RAM to run in the background. So once again, kudos for you guys. G Helper is definitely the way to go. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool.
So guys, here we are at the end of the video. Now, if you did like this guide with the G helper, then don't forget to leave your thoughts and comments down in the box below. As always, I always do my best to go through each and every one of it. And uh, yeah, you guys are absolutely amazing. And if you are wondering about this laptop right here, this is the Zephyrus G16, the 2024 model from Asus. I have bought this with my own money. That's why I can afford to actually trash the Asus name if I want to, which I actually did in this video right here, where I had to take apart this laptop because there was an annoying rattling sound. Uh, yeah, you'll see all about that in that video and how I fixed it basically on my own time, my own dime as well. And um, this is just something that I want you guys to know before diving head into buying this product because, well, it is very expensive and you should know all about it before making that decision. <coughs> As always, guys, you are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for choosing to watch today's video with me. And if you don't want to wait for my next video to come up, you know what to do. You can click the next video right here. And until the next one, guys, stay safe and see you around.